Hello everyone, I'm Han Dong Su from the Hwachong Agricultural University. Firstly, I would like to thank this organizer for this talk. My topic is the genetics and epigenetics of a centromere implant. Because I set up my own lab uh, last year and the most of the work I talk today is done during my postdoc. As we know, the chromosome are the half drive of the cell. They contain most of the genetic information and also the structure element, such as the centromere. As we know, centromere is a black hole of the chromosome. It contains a highly repetitive DNA sequence, and most of the centromeric sequence have not been assembled in the reference genome for most species. The many functions studied bypass this region directly. However, Centromere is also the herb of the chromosome. It mediates the dynamic behavior of chromosome during cell division and play important roles in the genome organization and chromatin regulation. And it's with many important applications in the basic and applied research. For example, we have reported that the frequent centromere variation in weight unemployed and its well habits, including centromere induction, deletion, expansion, and misdivision induced multiple centromere formation, resulting in the complex chromosome rearrangement and lower chromosome formation, which may induce the barrier reproductive barrier and facilitated speciation. And another example is the centromere mediated the hyploid induction process. It involves the crosses between a well type and a hyploid inducer line with smaller defective centromeres. When the chromosome with a smaller defective centromeres are frequently lost to form the hyploid. And it's very important for accelerating the crop breeding process. And the last exam is the plant artificial chromosome. It leads a functional centromere to transmit during cell division. So uh, therefore, the study of uh, centromere is very important for a better understanding of this centromere involved process is mentioned above. And for controlling the centromere formation on uh, synthetic chromosomes, and recently, the completely genomic and epigenetic map of rhabdopsis and the human centromeres was with the help of a telomere to telomere genome sequences. And this result illuminated the high degree of structure, epigenetic, and sequence variation in this complex and rapidly evolving regions. And during the last several years, I focus on the DNA composition, the chromatin composition, and the kinetic composition in plant centromeres. However, the molecular mechanism of centromere formation is largely unknown in plant. So here I will talk about the mechanism that underlying the centromere formation in maize. As we know, uh, the Central America DNA contains the highly repetitive DNA sequence in most uh, species, such as the specific Central America cell that uh, repeats the sentence and the, the retrotransposal CRM1 CRM element was located in the centromere of maze A chromosome, and uh, the uh, satellite B repeat were located in the maize B chromosome of centromere. However, how and why centromere involve the repetitive DNA sequence and are the repetitive DNA sequence essential for centromere formation? They are largely unknown. So uh, in the derivative of the maize A B chromosome translocation line, we find a mini chromosome Talo 3-3 and they are without the canonical, the Centromeric satellite sentence and retrotransposal CRM1 repeats. However, the epigenetic marker of a CH3 signal can be detected in this mini chromosome.
suggesting that de novo centromere may form on a ectopic location on the chromosome. So we performed the sensory chip seek and identified a 288 covalent region on the short arm of chromosome 9 that bind with the sensory nucleus. However, the sequence from this 288 clubis region were not located in the primary constriction of three further derivatives, and a new centromere may form elsewise on each chromosome. And so one 200 clubis region on the short arm chromosome 9 was involved to the de novo centromere formation in <clears throat> derivatives 3-3-11 and this result suggests that the chromosome undergoing rearrangement displayed a sequential series of de novo formation and inactivation of centromere in maize and to system examine the process of centromere inactivation and de novo formation in maize the tassel from maize in brain line B73 plus the B chromosome was used for irradiation, and the pollen was applied to the six of the brain line B73. And 274, the chromosome variants are identified after screening about 80,000 seedlings. And this variant include uh, the chromosome translocation translocated the fragmented, the rearranged, and the ring chromosomes. And many structure decentable chromosomes were found with only one single primary constriction, suggesting the inactivation of another centromere. And also for the chromosome fragment, were found without the canonical of the centromere repeat sequence, which reveal the presence of a de novo centromere formation. And this result illustrates the regular occurrence of both centromere births and deaths following the chromosome rearrangement. And this event occurred during a narrow development window uh, with this pollen irradiation system. So until now, we found that the de novo centromere form following the inactivation or deletion of an original centromeres suggesting that the repetitivity in a sequence is not necessary for centromere formation. And the centrical chromosome with only one active centromere, suggesting that the repetitivity in a sequence is not sufficient for centromere function. So we want to know what is the molecular mechanism of centromere formation and inactivation in plants. So we have identified many genomic loci in different chromosomes that combine with the sensory nucleus to form uh, de novo centromeres in maize. And this centromere size uh, range from several kilobase, several hundred kilobase to several uh, megabase. However, no conserved or specific DNA motifs were associated with the sensory sibling from this site. So we want to know what are the roles of a centromeric DNA sequence and the rearrangement <coughs> in centromeric structure and function. If there are any other epigenetic mechanisms that are associated with the centromeric function, such as the non-coding RNAs from the repetitive DNAs. So we perform the sensory anti-sensory rib to capture the centromere binding RNAs, and the ripped RNAs was further for the CDNA library screening and the high throughput sequence. And three types of backspliced RNA from maize centromeric retrotransposon element CRM1 uh, with a different size but the same backsplice site was identified. And this secular RNA was uh, clearly detected in the centromeric region using the automatic, the first microscope. Next, we want to know how did this circular RNA bind to the centromeric quantum? 
because the I loop is the three stranded structure composed of an RNA DNA hybrid and a single strand RNA. And S9.6 antibody can recognize the RNA DNA hybrids. And RNA is H can degrade the RNA strand of the DNA RNA hybrids and to produce the single strand DNA. And we found that this circular RNA was enriched in the real sample of the S9.6 antibody, and they were sensitive to the RMA's H treatment. This result suggests that the R loop was formed by the circular RNA at the centromeric region. And further, we found the chromatin loop was detected in the region containing the R loop site of the CRM1 element using the 3CPCR. So combining this result, we find that this is circular RNA from the Central American ritual transposon element CRM1 combined to the Central American region through the RNA-DNA hybrid and promote the chromatin loop formation in the, within the Central American region. And now we are trying to understand the relationship between the land coding RNAs, the R loop, and the chromatin structure in our de novo centromere systems. And we further perform the single strand drip seek to uh, with the S9.6 antibody to investigate the R loop distribution of maize, and we find uh, generally the chromosome level or trend of R loop increasing towards the pericentromeres and the centromeres. And immunosaining uh, and fish with the anti-S9.6 antibody and uh, the CM1 probe and the pectin chromosome also confirm this result. So uh, we conclude that the R loop are enriched in the pericentromeric region in the maze. And we further found that so the R loop was relatively co-localized co with the CX3 nucleosome, and the analysis of the CX3 chip, the chip's rays distribution profile around the centromeric R loop indicated that the centromeric R loop formation region was highly enriched in CX3 nucleosome, and the centromeric ritual transposome. Uh, the R loop from the Central America ritual transposome was observed by applying, applying the single molecular imaging technique of the AFM. So, uh, to summary of our work, we find that the Central America repetitive DNA sequence are necessarily necessary nor sufficient to specific Central America identity and function. And uh, the novel centromere formation is very common in maize on the chromosome fragment using the, our irradiation system and the regular occurrence of both centromere births and deaths following the chromosome rearrangement and they happened within a narrow development window. And CRM1 circular RNA combined to centromere through the RNA-DNA hybrid and the a circular RNA can also promote chromatin loop formation in the CRM1 regions. And CX3 bonding are favorable for R loop formation in the Central America region. And uh, the Central America ritual transposon was strongly associated with R loop formation. So, lastly, we would like to thank to my uh, supervisor, Professor Fan Bu Han and all the members and collaborations from the CAS, from the University of Missouri and the UC Davis. So because I just set up my own life, and now I focus on the plant chromosome biology and the synthetic genomics in my life. And the postdoc are welcome. And the grants was from the uh, CAS and NSFC. So thank you for attention and questions. Welcome. Thank you.